Hey, what up? What's happening, guys? EK Kiai, one more time, guys. You know what? I thought it was, I just did a video, I just did a premiere. I thought that was going to be my last video. But I do want to share this. I do want to really come on, bring this out there. But I just want to share with you guys one of the most annoying and scary experience at the gym, right? I like working out. I like going to the gym. That's where I like to go do my reset. Like, you know, I spend time. I just love working out. As you can see, I'm not, I'm not on steroid. I'm not on uh, testosterone shots. I'm not on anything. I'm just all natural, trying to eat clean. And then whenever I go to the gym, I don't try to compare myself with anybody. I just do me, you know. But I'm not a young dude either. It's just that consistency. You know, I see a lot of people. Okay, let me talk to this. Let me talk about this. Let me talk about this for real, man. You know, I've always gone to the gym. Those of you who know me, like I like to watch my what I eat. I like to work out. I'm not into getting back and all that stuff, but I've seen a lot of things when people go to the gym, okay? So when you come to the gym, you gotta learn how to stay in your own lane, all right? But one of the most scary and annoying experience at the gym, it's at the beginning of the year, man. I dread January and the first two weeks of February, for real, I promise you. They, I'm always scared I don't wanna go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the year, people start making resolutions. Like if you're in the U.S. or other countries abroad, like, you know, fast food countries, uh, my YOLO in Kenya, they say, Shang, my YOLO, go. People during the holidays, we put our guts down and we just eat and eat and eat and eat sugars, everything. Then comes January. <laughs> If you're watching this video and you're, you're always consistent at the gym, you know what I'm talking about. Because sometimes it gets so hard to even get in there, you know? Like you get to the gym, you wait on a rack, you sit there waiting on the bench. You got these newbies at the gym. I don't hate you guys. It's good you're trying to make an improvement. But please, I want to beg you, if you're going to do this, do it right. Have some courtesy at the gym. And at the same time, please, you know, just be consistent, okay? It's not a one-time thing. I have this buddy of mine. Maybe next time he let me mention his name. This dude has been doing this for like for a long time. He's been a pro, and I see a lot of people trying to talk to him, distract his workouts and all that. But let me say, some of the most annoying things that happen during New Year resolution. Number one thing you will notice if you're a constant member of any gym, you will notice a flood of newbies. And they call them rookies. You see fresh new people, or even some of them you had seen them the previous year or at the beginning of the year and then they fell out. But you will realize that the gyms will be so flooded. <laughs> so what I normally do, because I know what's gonna happen, I always do my like, November, December, I always make sure I get all my cardios and my everything so that when that time comes, I don't, I'm not going to be like all stranded and going crazy because these newbies, some of them have no clue what's going on, right? And with this modern world of technology, you will notice that most of these newbies show up in the gym and they try and take selfies, taking video, FaceTiming, showing their girlfriends, their boyfriends, like they're in the gym and doing nothing, just sitting on the rack. That's number one annoying behavior that you will experience uh, with the new resolution people every at the beginning of the year. The first six months, the not six months, the first six weeks are a nightmare for the, those people who are always consistent at the gym. You'll see new faces, you'll see some faces you haven't seen from previous new year resolution january february and then they can be so annoying some of them just walk around after doing a small like maybe they're just doing a 20 pounds reps 
and they just start walking around like they're already swollen, looking at themselves in the mirror, like pumping. Like I have this one guy, so annoying. He's always like, man, you know, I think I feel like hard. <laughs> I'm like, man, this is, this is, you know, they can be so, it's entertaining, but the same, it's annoying. And you look like a fool, all right? And then the one that I really hate, the most annoying one, when I'm going to do my squats, okay? You know, there's something I learned on an online class it's about training and courtesy of the gym. You don't need to use a squat rack when you're just doing bicep curls. You don't need the, you, when you're doing the bicep curls, you don't need to be on the squat rack doing bicep curls. It is so annoying. You see somebody there doing five, 15 pounds and they just, you know, bicep curls on the squat rack machine and they taking like forever to complete what they're doing. And then at the same time, excuse me, and then at the same time, somebody standing on the squat rack and you pull the bar and you're right there, you're doing deadlift. You don't need, you don't need to waste the whole rack. You're doing the, you need, you can get the bar and just go somewhere else and let somebody else use the squat rack. But just standing there doing a deadlift in front of squat rack, you know, you're not using the rack. You're just using the ground, you're using the floor. Get somewhere where there's no rack. Let somebody else use the squat rack. I've seen this not only with the newbies, but I've also seen this with people who come in there regularly, mostly people who have no idea. What, please, let's be courteous, man. Because I've seen people, or even myself, I sat there waiting for somebody who's just doing some bicep curl on a squat rack. Really, guys? Really? You don't need the rack. You're not even using the rack. You can do your bicep curl somewhere else. You don't need the rack. You can do your deadlift. You're using ground. You don't need the squat rack. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's point. And then point number four. Somebody is taking a long time and doing supersets. Personally, I like doing supersets, but I always, I'm always liking to be courteous to other people. I let them use the rack. If let's say I'm doing bicep curl and I'm also doing a barbell rows, you know what I'm saying? I let them do the bicep curl while I'm doing the barbell rows. It's good to be courteous, you know, but some of these newbies, man, they be like, man, I'm using it. I'm using it, you know, I'm on it. And they just taking like, five freaking 10 minutes to even complete, you know, taking a break like five minutes on the phone, texting, chatting and everything. I know you're paying, but you know, you also inconveniencing other people. Come on guys, newbies, or if you know, fell out, come on, let's be courteous, man. It doesn't have to be courteous, people. Number five most annoying thing. <laughs> and this happens all the time. Newbies and these young people, man, they be sitting there, you're doing 10 pounds, 15 pounds, and you're trying to take a video, tell your friend, take a video, and you're just pushing, and then after that, you're right there on the phone, starting to edit, and then post it, and then you, I don't know, man, like, you know, somebody would take a whole 10 minutes on the phone while all the racks are full, and they don't even care. You know, if you want to use your phone, please get outside, use your phone, okay? But when you come in there, you know, time is precious. Somebody else has to change their routine. Sometimes I've been forced so many times to change my routine because somebody's just sitting there on the phone and they're not doing like heavy weight. They're just sitting there on the phone, talking, showing their girlfriend, showing their boyfriend, I'm at the gym, you know? You know, when you know what you know, or like what they say in Shane, come on a jinawo, below na jinawo. Jandinawo means if you know that you know you're serious with what you're doing, you don't need to do that. If you really know that you know that you know what you're doing at the gym, man, you don't need to post stuff like when you're doing, your body's gonna be what is be speaking for, you know, when you get out there, when you 
people will know that you've been putting in some work you know what i'm saying so don't waste other people's time newbies while you're just doing selfies taking pictures and videos and talking to your girlfriends or boyfriends i'm not hating but i'm just saying because you end up inconveniencing other people let's be courteous you all in 2022 i see this every gym i've been to 24 la family all bali fitness i see people all newbies and you know let's be courteous it doesn't hurt you can talk if you want to talk to your phone just go you know and then throwing the weights around man I see like they put notes like signs everywhere. Please re-rock the weight after you finish your workout. It's only cutting. I can't believe I'm in the fast world, United States of America, man. But you see people just dumping weights, people just throwing weights everywhere. You might be there looking for a pound, 20 pounds, 40 pounds, and if somebody just dumped it somewhere and left it, you know, you take your time looking for it. You know what I'm saying? Let's be courteous. When you, you know, let's be like, you know, when you, it doesn't hurt to return the way where you found it. It doesn't hurt, man. I know they have people employed, but they're shorthand, most of the time they're shorthand. Just, just like if you don't, you don't want, when you come in, you're looking for a weight and it's not there. How do you feel? You feel bad. So let's just make a difference by make sure when you finish with your weight, just return it. Just don't throw it around, you know, or just drop it there. All right. Now, one of the most annoying thing for me, okay. You don't want to go to the gym. It's not only the men. There's also women that does okay. I see dudes coming in there and racking like the hack squat rack, hack squat and the leg press, even squats or even bench press. Somebody will stack a bunch of weight there. When they came in the bench, there was no weight on the bench. But when they leave the bench, mostly the leg press is the most annoying one. I see somebody has put like 12 plates on there or 15 plates on there and then they just walk away. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody comes there as a lady, sometimes I'm here to help them out because they want to use the machine. They want to use this. The, they want to use the, the the bench. But all that weight in there on the on the on the rag, man. You gotta help them. By the time you're done, you've already like done some few. Please let's be conscious. If you're going to stack weights like that, man, just you know some of these professional bodybuilding jeans. They will, they will call you out, man. They will call you out if you do mess like that, you know? So, man, try to re-rack your weights and put the weights in the right place, you know? There's not even one time I picked up, like, you pick a weight where it's supposed to be in 40s or 50s. You pick, find, like, one is 50. And subconsciously, when you go lift, then we realize you can end up injuring somebody. Let's be courteous. Yo, newbies, learn this. And if you like this video, don't forget to click a like, subscribe, and share. It's not that we're hating. We just you know, want to inform you some, you know, basic information to be courteous in the gym, okay? Make sure you unload your weight, guys. And then poor hygiene, man. In this time, we are in like COVID, man. COVID is real. COVID is real, guys. COVID is real, man. And you see a bunch of people, they sweat and sweat. They, And you know, the gym I go to, they have like, you know, they have stuff to clean all over the place. They have uh, paper towels. They have everything you need to clean up, you know, to clean up every bench. Like disinfected, once you finish the hand, everything is there. But you see somebody is so sweaty but once they finish using the rack, they not even going to clean up after themselves, man. Now you have to come in and clean and on up. Just be conscious, man. It doesn't hurt. You know, normally I like to bring a small towel in my, my, in my disinfectant liquid. So when I finish or I bring a long towel and just put it on. So every time I walk out, I'm putting my towel on so I don't have to sweat on the bench. Let's be conscious, people. It doesn't hurt okay just put yourself in somebody else's shoes how do you feel if i sweat in a bench and then you want to use the same bench would you feel right different different i mean you will not fit right okay so let's be courteous when it comes to hygiene oh the most annoying is groups buddies 
You see a group of four, five, six people on one rack or one bench. And these guys are not doing like supersets. So you will sit there doing bench press, five people, four people, and you're all waiting for everybody. I'm like, man, come on, you be wasting time not only for yourself, but also for other people. I'd encourage you, man, if you're a group of people, try and mix up different workouts at the same time. If this one is doing bench and this one is sporting, this one, the other person could be doing something else. So you, that you redeem time, but you find a group of people just stand there talking, backbiting, just looking around and criticizing other people instead of walking up. So if you have five, five people on one bench, how much time would that be by the time they're all done? You holding up other people. Come on, guys. It's not that we don't love you. We love you, but let's be courteous to other people as well. And also to yourself. So you see results, right? Another one that's most annoying. If a gym has a sauna or a steam room. Guys. <laughs> Oh my God, I see this all the time and sometimes you just look at each other like, you know, why do you have to breathe so hard and cough so loud like right in people's faces? You just see some dude come there right next to you and start doing some push-ups and doing some stuff and, and breathing so hard right on your face and I'm like, man, dude, we are, this is COVID, we don't need to do all that, man. Let's be courteous. The rest of us, we just chill. A sauna and steam room is just supposed to be somewhere you come and chill. That's why they have them in resorts, guys. So please, let's be courteous to other people. Even if you have to breathe, we're still breathing, but we don't have to breathe so hard and coughing so hard all over and sneezing and everything like that. You know, closing your mouth and all that, and just coming and doing all kind of, it's not meant to be exercise in the sauna or the, the steam room. I'm not hating, I'm just saying, courteous, be courteous doesn't hurt, okay? And then number 11, I think I already said that, sweating and cleaning. <laughs> oh my God, it is important. One thing that pisses me off, I like using the stair masters a lot, okay? I like using the stair, that's my favorite cardio machine. But sometimes you go to a cardio machine and you will find somebody was sweating so hard and instead of clean, the whole place looks like sweat, a pool of sweat, sticky and everything. But they won't even clean it up. And then they feel like, oh, I'm sweating. Like, you know, oh, it's a good thing. Like they want to show you the, the walking out. Man, if, I know it's okay. You're putting in some hard work, but please clean the machines, kill, clean the treadmill, clean the elliptical machines, clean the stair masters, please, okay? So how would you feel if I did the same thing and you come and find the rat, or you come and find the machine or the elliptical or the stair masters, find all my sweat on there, would you, would you feel good? No, let's be courteous, guys, okay? And then number 12, the most annoying one. <laughs> You see somebody doing a squat the wrong way or they're using machine, these newbies, they're using it the wrong way and can lead to injury. You try to give them a piece of advice, they won't take it. They will like, oh, I know what I'm doing. You don't have to tell me. And I feel sorry for them because I learned the hard way when I you started training. We didn't have so much, you know, people who... But these days, you know, if I see you doing something wrong that can injure you, I'm definitely going to come and say something. You know what I'm saying? And I... So, newbies, you know, you don't want to learn from an injury, you know? It's always good to learn. If somebody, you can see somebody is like, they know what they're talking about, just heed to their advice. Listen to their advice, man, because it could save you a lot of problems. It could save you injuries, and when you get injured, sometimes you might be out for a long, long, long time. And guys, don't forget, man, if you're watching this video, I know it might be a long video, but please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, man. I really appreciate all of you for your support, man. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't smile. Support a brother. Support a brother. Support a brother, guys. I'm begging you. Please support a brother. I appreciate all of you. 
for taking your time. And then, lastly, the most annoying manners at the gym. <laughs> this one is the most annoying. I have several dudes, man. The first time I was at the gym, they get pumped one, two, three days. <laughs> And then you start walking around like this. Yeah, walking around like this, walking around like this and flexing and you know, on the mirrors and then, you know, just posing like everywhere, taking pictures and all that and all that. I mean, that's one of the most annoying thing you see at the gym. Like most of the newbies, they like doing that. They like doing that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. It takes time. I have some few buddies. They've done this for a long, long time. And when you come to the gym, please try stay to your lane. Stay to your lane, man. Because it's not everybody in the gym who is natural, okay? <laughs> a bunch of people are using a lot of stuff, right? And stay away from anything that, you know, unless you, you know, let me not talk about steroids. Let me not talk about all these other stuff that people are using. I have so many friends who do that stuff. But please stay in your lane. When you're there, if you just want to be natural. You no, know, just stay natural. Okay, if you want to do those shortcuts other people are doing, you know, at the cost of your health, it's it's up to you. But man, it comes in at the end of the day, it will cost you. Okay. So I just wanted to give these a few tips about the newbies at the gym. Please just give us a break, man. Just, just learn these few tips I've showed you, man. Just, if you don't know how to use anything, just ask. <laughs> just ask. You know, like a couple, uh, like three months ago, I was using a bench and I was, you know, I was taking my time because I had like an injury. And then this white dude just came on, on my face. And he's like, man, I want to use this machine. And you're taking some time. I'm like, all right, man, you, you can have it. I got more, one more set. Please don't try to be violent at the gym because you do not know who you're dealing with. I have several of my friends. Some of them are like, in the, you know, I don't want to say what they do, but some of them are like UFC fighters and all the stuff like that. You can just come on somebody's face. You don't know who they are. So also... Just learn to use some courtesy and be polite when you come to the gym. You don't know who you're dealing with, all right? So guys, I really appreciate you. I thought I did my last video, but this is gonna be my last. So I really appreciate you and I thank God for all of you, my few supporters I have, my few subscribers. Please share me out there. Help a brother, let me grow and may God bless you and blessed 2022. I pray and I hope that 2022 is going to be a good, blessed year for all of us and the world. Appreciate you. Don't forget, subscribe, share, smash that like button. Hala, bye-bye.